to the City World Radio Network. High definition digital radio broadcasting from the city to the world. www.cityworldradio.com Are y'all done? I love that intro, man. It's so amazing. <laughs> it's a sexy intro. You weren't you supposed to like um Yes, it's coming out. Trust the it's process. on my SoundCloud, also <laughs> along with our own podcast. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey. There we go. Yeah, we out here. We See, out here. Just making sure we adjust everything. But welcome sure. back, everybody. Welcome back to the Can We Not Podcast. It's me, your host, Evan Cumbest, and my two co-hosts. We have okay. and Kenneth. And here we are once again shooting in City World Radio. Shout out to City World Radio. Shout out to Sky's Crescent Radio. Shout out to Jay. Shout out to Tone the Producer. Shout out everybody who's listening. Watch on the um. Thank you guys. Live stream. On the live stream. Live dot com. Come to the YouTube page. YouTube dot com slash c slash Evan. More Combat. hilarious. Search up Evan. Um, search up. Can we not podcast? We're also available on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play. It, Stitcher, TuneIn, Spreaker, everywhere we can find podcasts. We're on there. Shout out to the YouTube. Everybody watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button. Comment down below. Hit that like button. Smash it. Do everything. That Share we- with your friends. There Share, you go. Please. There you go. Now, how all you do- that being said. How you doing, Evan? How you doing, Evan? <laughs> Don't be <laughs> fake. That's what you mean. We you care. a lot to tell us. We genuinely care. Yeah. Evan, how are you? I'm no, doing great that Panda's not here. <laughs> Yay, no more depression oh, yeah, on that where side. where is that guy? Uh, I, I thought he was going to stay on the show. I got a memo. <laughs> 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 I got a memo from security. Uh, apparently, they saw a homeless panda outside. They finally uh, kicked him out? Yeah. No, they they're extinct. They- <laughs> no, 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 no. It sounds like more like... He got rid of the strap. He's out of here. Thank God. He's out. He's out of here, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Bucko. (laughs) He's out of here, buddy. (laughs) But yeah, he's going. (laughs) For this episode, he'll be back in the future. We apologize in advance. Yeah, he's a friend of the show. You guys will see him. We'll also have a lot of other guests. A lot of we got a lot of people who want us to hit us up. They want to be on the show. If you want to be on the show, feel free to hit us up. And and let yeah. And our we are 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 taking exactly. We are taking people. Yeah, it's taking numbers. And now. if you're listening, you're not going to be able to see it. But if you're watching the video, all of our social medias will be appearing under us in and, the visuals, and we'll possibly say it like later on in the show. But of course, no, we don't yeah. need to do that. That's that's why we don't have to because I'm going to edit it in. Yeah, it's I, be there. I know, but you know, whatever. Yeah. All right, but, let's jump into it. Let's get. Wh- wait, we asked Evan how he is. He didn't ask us how we are. He didn't even say how he was. You no, see how much he's deflecting? No, no. no, no. <laughs> he, he's a master of this. If you ever chill with Evan, you will never know anything about him. Until you actually get to know him. See, every <laughs> damn week. Oh, God, you're a cheater. <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> you're a cheater, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not holding that back. Jesus. I'm not holding that back. So how are you doing? I want to actually legitimately know. How are you doing, Evan? I've had a very long week. Oh, okay. And Good or bad? No, it's just long. Oh, okay. it, 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 Honestly, it feels like I haven't seen you guys in like two weeks. You saw me it on fe- Thursday. <laughs> it feels like we haven't been here in two weeks. Okay, yeah. that makes so, sense. Is, it feels good to be here yes, in the room, yes, yes. making some great content right. for the viewers. Yep. So, are we ready to dive in? You guys, let's want, do it. How are you? How are you guys? I'm, I'm chilling. You ready? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Finger Less guns. We just, okay. <laughs> just got to do. No, nope. I'm just finger banging my co-hosts. That's, that's what we nah, do. I gotta go, man. Nah, finger nah. banging my co-hosts. Nah, Episode nah, over. Nah, bro. All right. Nah, I can't. Fi- rock. I can't. Be doing I can't that. finger bang y'all. Not at all. Not. Wow. wow. Send, wow. send me my check. Y'all different. Send me my check. Y'all acting brand I'm new. I'm done, bro. I'm done. Nah, nah, I'm coming back for that. Nah, nah. All right, let's get into it. It's our first topic. I want to talk about the NFL. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Yeah, the NFL. That appropriate music, Troy. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Evan. That's what I'm out here doing. Came prepared. It's genuine when it comes from me. It's not working. See? It. See? <laughs> Go ahead and find your button. <laughs> Go ahead and find your button. <laughs> Y'all supposed to be talking while I do that, but no. <laughs> back to the NFL. Go ahead. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, the NFL Madden games coming out. They released a soundtrack for it, and in one of the songs, Big ba- I think it's Big Bank with YG and Big Sean and Big Sean yeah. and Nicki Minaj in Big mm-hmm. Sean's verse. They censored the word Kaepernick. Really? Yes. Yes, they did. For the, the second year in a row. 
they have bleeped his name out of the soundtrack. What? Are you serious? Yeah. It's That's two years in a row that they have done this, and I'm just like, yo, this is ridiculous. Because then they tried to put out a statement saying that it was an accident, and me, I'm just like, I'm not buying that. Because you don't accidentally go into a song that's already edited. <laughs> and I know this is going to chop this edit. up. Oh, they know. Yeah, Submitted. Is a, this is a single. It's yeah. on the radio. It's, it's been already. mastered. Exactly. <laughs> it's been mixed and mastered. It's wow. Already, you go in there, you dig in the song, and then you edit it out. Then it comes out to the public, and everybody's like, yo, why'd you do that? They're like, oh, it was some type of mistake, and we have to like um, adjourn and fix it. It's like, no. Hey, bro. Record scratch. Wait, <laughs> wait. do all the, the Madden executives have that voice? Oh, oh my God. Wait, wait. Oh, Just we the don't ones move. that I listen to. <laughs> Just the ones that... <laughs> Sounding like penguin. We're <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but that's what they did, and uh, the public came out and they were very outraged by it. They was like, "Yo, this is mad messed up." You know, we're not gonna buy it. So then they came out trying to make it sound like it was a mistake. But I'm not buying that. Mm-hmm. I don't believe it. And I've already slowed down on watching um, the NFL. Really? I, yeah, I'm already like I've been slowly but surely not watching it because I'm just not happy with what's going on. It's just getting more and more obvious what they're doing over there. And I was just asking you guys, are you watching? Do, do you watch NFL? You watch See, football? I'm like one of those, like, yeah, I'm going to subscribe. When the Super Bowl's coming up, all right. Playoffs coming up, I, you know. But at, year round now. But even, I'm not really that, checking. But you remember last last season where they were going to mm-hmm. have Jay-Z on there. They offered him the money, yeah, and Jay-Z they, declined. He said no. Nah. And then they they tried to make shit. it sound like, we didn't offer him any money. Dude, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's how <laughs> they were. That, that sounds like a dude. That sounds like a dude. He's like, no, nah, I, I didn't sign any DMs. What do you think? Well, yeah. Well, well, they tried to act like it didn't even happen. Ain't no problem. They might not. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Yeah. Ken, have you watching football this season? No. Yeah, well, I think it's a dub for them. To it's to serious. to ask your full opinion on this, do you feel there's anything they can do before the season starts up that will make you say, you know what, all right, this season? Yes. No. Not a, nothing. <laughs> Not, Not even like oh, okay, we're we're gonna revoke this and rebuke the, what we it's did. It's too much. Like I'm all for the betterment of things, and you want to change it and make it better. But this season, they already tried to start it off the gate by trying to say before preseason even started, they came out with the rule saying all players have to stand for the national anthem. Uh, and then if you're going to not stand for it, you got to go into the locker room. And then wow. people already tried to like, they was like, no, nah, we're not feeling this. And then they reneged on it. So it's, it's very obvious what they're trying to do. But the public isn't having it, and I'm just saying so for, you, you say for all the do? listeners, just stop watching it. The, the, pop, the responsibility isn't with the players because mm. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they work really hard to cultivate their talent and get on that stage and make the money to support their friends and their family, and that's their job at the end of the day. And if at the end of the day, honestly, the bottom line is if the NFL don't want them in the league, they'll replace them with some third string quarterback or some third string running back, and they'll get Something them out of here. Out of some, some other dude mm. with the same jersey, same number, you won't even notice Just it. Just replace some cookie cutter dude. The, the the amount of shift that happens season to season with the NFL, you don't even notice certain players get oh, traded yeah, and definitely. moved. That's so, why I like step back. I was like, ah, I can't really keep up. They I can feel just like I can. they can just remove players that we love, take them out of the game if they're not doing what the NFL wants them to do. Mm. So the responsibility doesn't fall on the players; it falls on the viewers. If we stop watching it and we tell the NFL, "Hey, we're not watching any of your games until we see X, Y, and Z amount of changes," and it make sure that they're sincere about it and not just doing it for money, then we can start watching it again. Until then, I'm not putting any more. Wa- I'm not watching no more NFL, no more football. I might watch a highlight on Twitter if it's from an account <laughs> that's not connected to the NFL. As long as or they're ABC. not. Or ABC. <laughs> they're not sponsored. You know when they say that if it's pirated, you know. Yeah, he's going to be there right after the game. Like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah. I got him. I got him. <laughs> got him. Yeah, got that's him, what baby. I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I'm on. But if you're, if you're doing that, then I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch a holiday. Because oh, some sometimes o, that, OBJ be wilding. I need, yeah, to, see OBJ. <laughs> I need to see that. I do need glad to see that. I'm glad to see his ankle doing better. I'm yes. glad to see his ankle yes. doing better with that yes. shitty yes. challenge. Yeah. No. <laughs> with that shitty oh, that, challenge. Oh, that video. Exactly, I don't know if you guys saw that video. That was... Yes. Drake video, Kiki? Yes. I like how he... Sh- he- this is a music podcast. It's not, but hey. <sighs> Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> That's your opinion, buddy. <laughs> we like me. Ew. Are you guys Ow. watching NFL, though? Not at all. Nah. <laughs> not even the Super Bowl. Nah. Not even the Super Bowl? No. I respect that. Yeah. Because that's the hardest one to not watch. Exactly. Like, that's the, that's the one that gets the most press coverage, like, no matter what. It, I feel like if anybody, like, 
even watches that game, they're going to give in to what the NFL wants and all those team owners wants. Like, like, hey, we need the viewership, so we're going to put out all these like great-ass commercials and have these two great teams play. No matter what the be- the stuff behind the scenes is happening, like, oh, you guys need to watch. No, I'm not going to watch that shit. I'm not going to mm. subscribe to that shit because it's not fair. It's not, it's not right for these players to not be able to speak up for what they believe in and what they know in their hearts is wrong so for the team owners to be acting this way i can't i can't support that at all so i'm not watching nfl at all i was going to give you the applause but remember from last week so just <laughs> my shit. that's kind of higher up on my priorities i only like tall <laughs> i didn't feel like touching my soundboard i re- i'd rather adjust my chair ain't but no problem. <laughs> ain't no problem ain't no problem ain't no problem but, Evan. <laughs> Moving on, um, that's how we feel about it, guys. Let us know how you feel about the NFL, whether or not you're going to be watching it. Please comment it down below or hit us up on our respective social medias. Now, moving on to the next topic. From the NFL to the NBA, mm. there was this big story going around this whole past week about Blake Griffin paying child support uh, okay. to his baby okay. mom, and he's and he's ordered to pay 9% of his income, which comes out to be over $3 million. Uh, three, three, million mi- $3 million a, a year. year. Yeah, $3 million three a year. $3 million a year. For, yeah, for both kids. Because I it's um I believe it's two six two hundred sixty a month. Yeah, 260000 I thought yeah, it was 253 it's like two fifty. I'm mad we're doing I'm, the numbers like. Oh, no, we got. No, it it, well, it's a big <laughs> count his pockets now. <laughs> we we got to get the visor and shit yeah, exactly. like that adding machine. Nah, like no, I I feel like it was a bigger number than that. Like I think it was two fifty eight. So I'm just rounding it up yeah. to two sixty, which yeah. is still to me it's still a ridiculous amount because like. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter compare it to other like Why players' would that be contracts. A ridiculous amount, though, because that's his child, though. Yeah, no, it's both his kids. One, but the fact that he's he's being forced to pay this much, which is more than uh, like some great players in the league, like namely Isaiah Thomas. He's getting he's paying more than what Isaiah Thomas is getting paid this current season. <laughs> Damn, that's yo, his yo, he could hell. start a whole damn mixtape off of that. It's like, yo, that's why I pay more child support than you get paid in a year. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm here for. Just a man with a sound boy. That's my mission. I, honestly, I feel like it, that nine percent is justifiable yeah. because it's like that's your kid. Yeah. And obviously they had to agree upon this number in court, right? Well, is that is it it's, it's not a it's, a, it's a it's a prerequisite. It's like, prerequisite. The father has but to pay still. Yeah. The father has to pay 9% of his of his uh I think monthly income to the that, to the mother for the kids. And so, the mom only held the kid for like 9 months, so I each. mean, you oh, 9%, 9% is only 1% for a month. I, it, <laughs> <laughs> just running the numbers. <laughs> just running. Yeah, the number man. The I man got my it. data crew sending me stat sheets right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Twitter ESPN, <laughs> <laughs> it's the draft stuff. Yeah, yeah modern day ESPN guys. Oh yeah. But That's no, fun. my question was, um, because it's such a, a large amount of money, yeah. and you know most men already have issues with child support and giving money to the women or the baby moms, and they feel like the money's not going directly to the child. That the mom taking the money and doing whatever she wants with it, and it's like, should there be a cap on how much? Um, like a, you can give in child support, like a monetary cap, not percentage wise, but like a like. All right, you're only able to get fifty fifty thousand per child. Uh, yeah, that's that's the cap. Anything else that would be acquired in that percentage of the nine percent would go to a a bank account that nobody can touch. Only the t- the child can touch after he turns eighteen. Nah, I feel like there's a lot of gray area with that because it's like okay. If you're going to say that, then you also got to analyze the lifestyle that yeah. that child has to be involved in. You have to protect in. the anonymity. That's, exactly, that's exactly, exactly what I was going to say. You can't just say, oh, well, here, only 50 Gs. <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys are billionaires, billionaire money. family. It is they a lot of money, money but si- they just live with <laughs> just me. Live with me. The, if I'm Come a dad, to I, make a queen. I'm just, just, <laughs> I have the money. Live with me. I, See, there's the that. The mother came from the streets. <laughs> well, <laughs> I Shiggy met her in the strip club. <laughs> Don't make back. me give you back, back to, to the hood. <laughs> give your mom back to the hood. Live with me. I said live with me and my mom. I thought you said we're not a music podcast. We're Look. not. He started singing, not me. You sang with him. But you, I yeah, didn't sing did. with him. I said I found you in the streets. <laughs> you tell me what song that is. <laughs> Street life. <laughs> it's the only life I know. Boo, get the fuck out of here. Right. Just want to make sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> but how do you guys feel about that? I, like you said, a lot of gray area. You I seem to I feel have to, very no. Right. I have to, I have to agree. It's a lot of gray area because it's like, not only like how you were saying protect the anonymity of the child. It's like what if the child has like like medical issues that they have to like account for like diabetic or or things like that like that they need to be monitored and then like can't they just the hospital just charge the father well shouldn't that be included in should that be included on tab. <laughs> should, should that be included in yeah. the in, the in my hypoth- huh? in my hypothetical it would be yeah so like I've, any extra monetary like for medical reasons or things like yeah that, like if they it, break their arm it goes or like straight like, to the dad okay, which is fine but it's like like for you to say like oh there should be a monetary cap like you know you never know what what could happen like god forbid break Blake Griffin could break his leg tomorrow and then he'd be out of the money he won't be mm. well, he's he's not out of the money but he's not going to get as much money the next it can time ruin his, his country. career exactly sure. you know so then then all that money is going to in, like immediately decrease the next time like his contract comes along like I, th- I believe this is his contract year so at the end of the season when he's like when he's talking to his agent and talking to the, to the Pistons and talking to him like yo I need more money why you just broke your leg but but my kids please I gotta pay this much that sounds like a you problem my dude like, that's funny <laughs> that's Damn. A you Damn. Problem. Yes. <laughs> but I get you in, in, no, in I'm not, business that's how it exactly. is exactly yes I get it you calling Kanan right now you call <laughs> Sound like a you problem. Too. We'll get we'll get to power we'll get later. There, we'll get there. Definitely. Yeah. But um, I was gonna use the child support conversation. I like this. I'm gonna try to get a little personal. Okay. Whoa. You know. I don't got no kids. Stop. Have we? I've me grown neither. up. I've me, grown up. Me with, neither. Just I, let everybody. Know. I have grown up. No, no it's about kid growing gang. up. No. Talking about growing oh, okay. up. I grew up with a single mom. Have That's you guys grew up with a yes. single mom? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Strong. Strong single mom. <laughs> Strong. Oh. That ain't no problem. Huh? Ain't no problem. I gave it to you. You didn't have to sing it. <laughs> I like doing it. I, I do my own stunts. <laughs> okay, I don't wow. know what that does for you. Your own vocal stunts? But growing... Okay, so Akai, you grew up with a single mom. Yes. We know your situation. Kenneth, you said in the last episode, if you guys didn't get it, then watch the last episode. You'll pick up on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know how like the child support situation was held with your mom and dad? We didn't get shit. <laughs> I hate to laugh, but damn. No, but I'm just saying. Well, I mean, it was a different situation. <laughs> we didn't get shit. Yeah. No, but it was a different situation. They they weren't married, and you know, it was just one of those things. I mean, I understood why, but at the end of the day, I understand also the other side of that is just, you know, my mom was just a very hard worker. She hustled. You know, she was able to, you know, do what she had to do. She did it on her own, and. <laughs> I'm a product of that. Yo, I'm a laugh for that. Yeah. Shout out to my mom. Yeah. Shout out to Mama Ramsey. Mama Ramsey. Yeah, no. But see, listen. Holding it down. <laughs> Holding it Hold down. It down. I know Mama Ramsey still hates you for them ice cubes, though. <laughs> <laughs> see, just to, just to quote the friendship, you know. <laughs> Where's my button? Find Where's my button? He's sitting there looking button. for buttons. Find yeah, go button. ahead and find it. Burn it. Burn it. Get the fuck out of here. To his mom? Burn. To you my mom? You rude. No, you for bringing it up. <laughs> Burn it. Burn. Sorry, somebody got to get the. Oh, that was the wrong. Blast them! <laughs> Why y'all trying to get me, man? Why, Come at this dude! Why y'all trying to kill me? I don't appreciate about to this battle hostility. rap. You. I really don't appreciate you this don't hostility. Appreciate. Yeah, okay. That y'all are coming See, you at can me, have man. all the hostility and the smoke right now. Why y'all coming at me with that? <laughs> no, no, you just honestly, it's like word. You, this is how you feel. This is really how you feel. No, nah, but I only I honestly only bring it up because of what you call it. Me growing up, mm. I had to deal with child support. My father was married to another really? woman. Okay. Yeah. My father was married to another woman, so my, my dad had to give my mother child support. Yeah. But they tried to like make their own agreement. They tried not to get the courts involved. Oh, okay. So maybe a lot of our okay. my li- only reason why I ask you guys because maybe a lot of our listeners have gone through that type of situation mm. where gotcha. I've you know, I've heard stories about people who have gone through child support and they try to like keep the courts out of it. Mm. So that way they can just have their own little settlement, they get that and everybody's cool. And, you know, we don't gotta make a big scene out of this we can co-parent together we don't have to make we don't have to be dramatic yeah i got you i was speaking about it because i remember this one time (laughs) this is is my dad all right (laughs) it was like i don't know what the agreement was but my dad picked me up took me to get a haircut (laughs) and brought me to kfc we're sitting in the the parking lot after we get food and then he gives me an envelope and i've never dealt with this before he just gives me an envelope he's like yo hand this to your mom's (laughs) I didn't know what this was. It was a check for twenty five dollars, and I didn't know what. The fuck? What? This is a real story. 
This is a ghetto story. <laughs> True wait ghetto a story. Wait a minute. You put the the, t- the check for twenty five dollars in the envelope like it was big money. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, nah. Let did your you moms hold it. Yo, did you get chicken grease this. on the check? With your life. Did you get chicken grease on the Guard check? Guard this check with your life. I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know how to handle a check. I'm thinking to me this was big bucks. <laughs> Come on, man, yo, you get mom's 25. I yo. can't even get $5 out of you for the week to go to school. <laughs> hey, you got that You got that check I sent you with the, with the boy? <laughs> what you mean you ain't get it? No, nah, when <laughs> I got home and gave that to my mom, oh, she was livid. <laughs> she was because livid. Because of the chicken grease or? She <laughs> was, <laughs> she was like, let me, James, <laughs> you better get your ass back in your, yeah. <laughs> Come out with it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Where you get? You got yeah. Slow down. Chill with the soundboard, man. Slow you know. Down. You yeah. Know. All right. All right. Respect the viewers. Respect the viewers. Yeah. Respect. To but you. yeah, my mom was wilding, <laughs> and my dad was definitely wilding. <laughs> Jesus. I I'm just sorry. wanted to share that no, story. That's, that's just say you don't learn more about me. I don't share much. I shared. <laughs> share that happy? check for twenty five dollars. Yeah, damn straight. <laughs> that's right. Are you happy now? Did you sure. check? Did you uh, give any chicken to her? What? I mean, you get, went to KFC and bring her back a bucket. No. Oh, he didn't get yeah. a bucket for it? No. Wow. That's wild. He got something for me and my brothers. <laughs> and and yeah, all just- I don't blame him for that. Looking back on it, like I gave you the check. Get your own. Get your <laughs> he own. used the he used the check. <laughs> get your own, lady. <laughs> I fed mine. I fed <laughs> get <mine>. your own. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my dad. Yeah, yeah shout, out, you, shout dad. out all parents. <laughs> I love you. All dad. parents, all parents everywhere. That's my dad. <laughs> That's <laughs> my dad, all right. Big bucks, big bucks. But um speaking about money and children, I want to move on to another story that I saw on Twitter this week. Mm. It was about a man dating a woman who had three kids by two different dads. He was the the dude she's dating is not the father of any of her children. And she sends him a text message about hey my sons need to go on a class trip today. They're telling me last minute, I need $20 so they can go on the trip. Okay. And he responds saying, no, nah, I don't got it. Okay. He's like, oh, I don't. She's like, what? He's like, I don't got it. You should ask their, their, your children's fathers. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, what? Nah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you got receipts? I'm a fun. Yeah. Y'all talk receipts. about the story while I look I'm for that's it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Why can't, why can't. <laughs> Why not ask the the kids' fathers for the money because they're the fathers. Like they, both dudes don't got ten dollars to rub together and like <laughs> send the kids. Kind of, like Count neither one of them, neither one of them got got forty quarters so they can send these. Kids. <laughs> Wait a minute! Like, did you really do the math? Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, we running a lot of numbers today. You <laughs> opened his phone. I saw. <laughs> yeah, put a face Calculate out. Calculator, man. <laughs> but I got the story. You ready to do this dramatic read, guys? Dramatic read, all right. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back one more week, one more story. We got some more for you. That's right. Drama for your mama. We're back with Kevin Cumbess on the scene, ready to read the stories and give it to you and not be bored. Kevin, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Jenny. Voice <laughs> gets <laughs> deeper and deeper every week. Yeah. I don't care. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Me had to read the story, guys. (laughs) She hits him up. I need twenty dollars. He's like, twenty dollars to do what, babe? My kids have a trip tomorrow, and they ain't telling me today. Shaking my head. Oh damn! They just gonna have not. They just gonna have to not go, babe. (laughs) You told me too late. (laughs) Told me too late. And the conversation. That's it. (laughs) That's it. Don't read no more. That's that's it. They just not gonna go. No, he said, you told me too late. And she's like, wow, you can't give me 20 bucks? Babe, you're going to have to ask the kid's father for that kind of stuff. And then she sent the laughing emoji and was like, you know what? I don't even want to talk to you no more. And he was like, oh, okay. Well, it was fun while it lasted. But me giving you money will never work unless you're my wife. I'm sorry. You got three kids by two niggas for those kids. Those men got to give you the money for that, sweetie. (laughs) Please he said, continue. He's not wrong. Go you ahead. can't be asking me for that kind of stuff. Shaking my head. Okay. Listen, ask their fathers like it's their children. They need to give you the money for those things like that. It's their responsibility. She says, okay, if you want parts of me, I would think I could come to you and ask you for help. Clearly, I was wrong. 
They dad don't have it, so I figured I'd have to ask you, but it's cool. You're a selfish and mean, but that, but want what you want. I know that there's, I know it's their dad's responsibility. I asked them first, but I'm a single mom. It's cool. I'll get it because when it comes for my, me and my kids, I'll take care of them. I'll borrow it from someone else anyway. And she was like, sweeties, if their dad don't got $20, tell them to pay for their kids to go on that damn trip. <laughs> and if it's too late, then stop stressing yourself out. They just won't go on the trip, and that's okay. There'll be plenty of other trips in the future. She's like, I asked you, I asked a favor, something you can get back. Just leave me alone. And then he was like, if you had asked me for $20, I doubt you were going to pay me back. You said, and I quote, wow, so you can't give me 20 bucks? That means you ain't borrowing it. You wanted me to give you the money and not expect to, not expect to give it back. I do not give people my money. Sorry. And no problem. I'll leave you alone because you're mad at the wrong nigga. Direct that energy to the kids' fathers. Contact the kids' fathers and get the money from them. And then she says, <clears throat> well, we're... Where I asked him first, and if getting money was a problem, I would have gave it back. Listen, don't cuss at me because you're cussing at the wrong nigga. Direct that hey, energy at those kids' fathers. Hey, if go. they don't got the money, then the kids don't got to go on the trip, period. It's, the end of, it's not the end of the world. There'll be plenty more trips in the future. She's like, boy, bye. He says, I'm a grown man and I have kids. And if I had kids who I would never let my kid's mother ask another nigga for $20. Never. Again, I ain't no boy. You're directing your energy at the wrong nigga. Be mad at the, those two bum ass niggas. Hey, not me. There you go. Stick Get up for yourself, my nigga. That's Stick my up son. For yourself. That man is a king. That man is a king. Can we get some royal music up here? Yeah, a round of applause for that man right there. Oh, Give it to him. <laughs> what? She out here that upset that she <laughs> she can't get twenty dollars for kids that don't belong to that nigga. She wrong How for that. Feel? She wrong for that. She is absolutely wrong for that because she's sh like like he said, those are not his kids. He doesn't have to pay if he wanted to pay. He's more than welcome to, but since he declined, she shouldn't be getting angry at him. She should, like I said, she should be directing the, that energy to both those fathers who somehow don't have ten dollars to rub together each <laughs> to go to go like, oh, here you go, send my kids on that trip. Go ahead, don't ask me for nothing oh, else this month. Now? You Shaq? Yeah. I, I Shaq mean, Daddy. just the way the way that the mom went about that situation was inappropriate. Yes, it was wrong. Yes. Like so, she was, she wasn't wrong for asking, but she was wrong in her response to him saying no. Mm, how do you feel, guy? Honestly, I feel there was more than enough, <laughs> <laughs> more than enough time to say, "Yo, if that's how you really feel as a mom, then you know, just take the L." Unfortunately, but at the end of the day, both people were right and wrong in their own sense. He could have easily just said, "You know what? All right." It's your kids, twenty dollars. Why? I mean, if he was going to give her the twenty dollars, he would have just gave it to a flat. Yeah. Out. But I think the way she went about it was why was, he didn't give the yeah, money. Yeah, and exactly. The there was a kept, principle. The fact that she kept carrying on the way that she did is like, yeah. yo, get Spot. off my line, <laughs> <laughs> get off my phone. I mean, it just you know goes to show how the relationship will pro progress, and you know, definitely won't she, be anything good for him. <laughs> she just kept asking. He was looking at her like, stop, stop, no. I'm not giving you this money. Leave me alone. You're not getting any of it. But nah, like I'm saying like for a woman to ask for like money or whatever, I've had situations like that where, you know, a woman who's had kids that aren't mine asks me for money for the child. Mm -hmm. And in a way, like you, you feel wrong to say no to that type of situation okay. because you don't want to do that to a child because a child is innocent. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, geez, lady. <laughs> geez. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> geez, what happened this week, lady? Yeah. It's like, come on. <laughs> come on, please. <laughs> come like, on. Oh, geez. Come on. Are you Morty now? Yeah. Come on, geez. Like, oh, geez. Like, come on. <laughs> don't, Summer, don't, no. don't put me in a situation. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, don't don't put me in that situation. I don't, like, because now I feel what? guilty. I feel like a jerk for saying no when it's a situation I'm not responsible for in any you way, shape, or form. Not even that. Don't. It's not even like a. a thing of feeling bad now if 
if he had said yes, that's going to start a vicious cycle of, of her constantly asking that he's going to keep feeling guilty about not giving money. So he's just going to keep giving money. And then then the price is just going to keep getting higher and higher and higher. And the amount of money that he's going to give is just going to keep growing, growing, growing. And if anything, he mm-hmm. was setting a standard. Like you said, he was setting True. a president of like, True. look, I'm not going to if this is how we're going to ask for money, then I'm not giving it to you no matter what the amount is. Yeah. He did say like at one point, like, oh, you know, we're not. You know, committed yeah. to that level of marriage. Yet. Yeah, he said, "You're not my wife." I mean, it makes sense. It's just, it's justifiable. He set a boundary, he set a standard. Yeah, so, so he's right for that. Good. Yeah. Exactly. I'm glad we all can agree on that. So, guys, you let us know what you think of that topic. If Comment- you disagree, if you're wrong and you disagree, go ahead. Try and prove. <laughs> try and prove that you're right, but just know that you're wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> just, and, and if you're gonna like tweet about it, you know, please use the hashtag Can We Not Podcast yes, along in there, and make sure you let us know. We'll be looking for those tweets and those responses, and we'll bring it up on the next show. So, like I said. Please tweet us, hit us up on our personal social medias, and we'll we'll get back to you. Let us know. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. Um, moving on to the next topic. Guys. Uh oh. Yeah. It's getting serious. <laughs> oh no. Take take a sip, because you sound like you're about to start coughing again. No, I'm not. Are you ready? Oh, <laughs> no, go ahead. It's a it's, it's, emotional. it's it's not no, it's not it's getting emotional. It, it's about pride. Oh. It's about okay. pride. So and I, I've just I saw this story going around. It wasn't a story; it was just like a, a, it's a topic or whatever, just going around. I was asking my friends. I have a lot of friends who's in relationships, friends who are married, and you know we just, we talk about a lot of hypotheticals. Yeah. So we ended up getting into the discussion about you know proposing. Oh, if you're gonna propose okay. to your girlfriend, okay, propose to your significant other. Um, if you propose to your girlfriend in public, yeah. is she allowed to say no in public? Or should she say yes and then pull you to the side later on and then tell you no? Mm. <laughs> so this, so I told I the guess... producer it's off camera. Like, <laughs> he's like, he's like oh, are you in a mic, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a but special you, guest. You snatched the one from Stephon last week, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to know. Tone wanted to know. He's like, yo, nah, this the, dude talking wild. Interesting topic. There you go. <laughs> We gotta set him up. Get him up. Get him. Get, get him, him a mic. Talk, get him. Give him a mic. <laughs> Go ahead. Give him a mic. Y'all talk. Y'all talk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I find this topic. Yo, you're not even on. He's not, you're even, not on, even on. He ain't even on. Now you're on. Now you're on. There you go. There we go. Talk that there, talk. There he no, is. No, I thought this was an interesting topic. That's why I was stroking my beard. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He was long stroking his beard you know, too. He was like, actually, I don't know. I don't know if this is the case with you guys. But I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm the only person in this room who's actually proposed to somebody. Really? Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, years ago. Well, like I get a, I get a sound effect for that. <laughs> he gets the sound effect. Like, Do you have the sound of an L? Because it ended up not happening. <laughs> oh. That's that's the biggest L in history. Yeah. Oh. That's that's the sound my bank account made when I bought damn. that ring. <laughs> oh, damn! You went through the whole process. Yeah, man. Jeez. Lasted about a month. But an interesting topic, guys. I want to see what you guys have to say about this. I, he's like, you guys better say the right word. I live this the, life. The girl that I asked, she said yes. Really? Yeah, she said yes. Okay. But <laughs> You're just out here playing with the buttons. Let him let him tell his but, story. But the thing is, our, our engagement only lasted about a month because I got to see who she really was during that time. Ooh, ooh. Who but I would have rather had taken the L and her tell me no. Oh, uh, but okay. everyone's case is different. Hey, All everyone's right. yeah. that's very true. Life teaches lessons. There you go. Yeah. Teaches. Let me just focus on present. There you go. The more you know. There you go. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm here for, guys. Thank, what he thank you. So, thank you. So, Can you give him a round of applause on the on the soundboard, please? Hey. Thank you for setting the tone, hey, tone. tone. Thank you for setting the tone. There you tone. go. Thank you, Tone. Make sure. Tone Game of man. tones, right there. No. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Hearing from a man who's been married before and then propose—I mean, not married, well proposed—but um, what do you guys feel about that? Are y'all rock paper scissoring? Yo, y'all scissors each other. Y'all right. both got scissors. Nah, he can go. Y'all scissors each other. That's no, listeners, they scissor each other. Yo. Please watch the video. Please watch the video. They scissor each other. Oh, so it's more hype just to watch These you niggas just smoke. <laughs> <laughs> They using scissors. <laughs> These niggas eating peas. <laughs> oh god! Can we not? Can we oh, not? God. Can we not? <laughs> All right. No. Okay. Rock Again, paper. You, you can rock paper first. simpletons. That's rock what we're talking about. Yes. Go ahead. All right. So rock and paper. That might be the Champ. title. Champ. <laughs> so. uh <laughs> So if if you propose to your significant other in public and would you rather her say no or would you rather her say yes for the time and then pull it to the side and then explain why she would feel no? I feel like to save myself 
embarrassment at that point in time, say yes. And then when we get home or be alone and just explain like, yo, I didn't want to embarrass you, but I can't marry you right now because X, Y, and Z. Mm. I'd rather that because say we're out in public, we're out like a carnival or like in a restaurant and I get down on one knee, like creasing up my J's. And just like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like take her to Six Flags, like get to the top of the Ferris wheel. This, like, this girl, is why she, you mean everything. This is me. why she didn't want to say no in front of you. That's a fact. Exactly. Because she didn't want to embarrass me in front of fucking people at, at Six, Six Flags. Flags. Exactly. She's getting proposed to at Six Flags. I think she was embarrassed enough for the both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, girl, we going to this. I know this is hypothetical, but I heard. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. That just... sure hurt. I thought you were my friend. <laughs> Listen, man. After what we've been talking about the past three episodes, I thought y'all was my friends. I haven't got cheated on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all need to chill. This is her again. <laughs> Look at him. But go ahead. <laughs> my thoughts on it. It's it. Life teaches you lessons. So if you're gonna get that lesson of like, hey, you know, you're gonna do this in public, be prepare for the consequences. I agree with I that. I feel like it's Stop best. Stop interrupting. Who's who's gonna talk? <laughs> you. <laughs> no, no, no. Stare down, stare down, stare down. So yeah, go back to what you I feel doing. like life teaches you many lessons. That's a big lesson to say, you know what? If you're really gonna put yourself out there for that person, you might as well just be prepared for the consequence you know you have to realize that if this person is going to say no and you're going to publicly display your, your affection for this person and they just so happen to say no that's their they can do that i can see that everybody's in time stop interrupting I'm, I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry go ahead continue you can't say that to hip, hip. <laughs> I, I just to button it to really get the point across <laughs> before I pop a cap on somebody and make it happen. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be the <laughs> that's gonna be the thumbnail for the video. That's the thumbnail. There you go. No, just to button it. I, I just if you're gonna be prepared to publicly announce like your love and professor to somebody then just be ready for the consequence it shouldn't be like oh they can't do that that's a person they're reacting in the moment let them react you're right yeah yeah i agree with you <coughs> that's a lie no i really do no I, I agree with you i don't even have nothing to add on that if you're gonna take that risk that's what it is because imagine I, imagine if you like you that she says yeah mm -hmm. and you're like yeah hype as hell you're like you posting it on instagram you're telling family members Damn. and you then look stupid and she doesn't she hasn't seen it yet and so let's say like she waits a day or two or like over the weekend she pulls your wow. songs like why would why would how soon is she supposed to wait till we get home nigga you, what if her fa no let's say like you do all of that you get the blessing you pull her, all her family and friends there and she says yes but she doesn't mean yes so mm. now she has to go to her friends and her family to be like, oh, I'm going to let them know. But while she's doing that, you're posting it. You're hype as hell. And now you got to deal with that embarrassment. Yeah. And then you got to take it down. It's embarrassment I either way. That, yeah. But at the same time, it goes so back to what I said last week. People don't like feeling stupid. That's what I said. They don't stupid, like yeah. that. It's a pride. So it's a pride thing. It's manfidence. That's yeah. what it is. Manfidence. <laughs> manfidence. I like that word. Manfidence. Go ahead. Go ahead. We just be making up words. Manfidence. That was whack. Whatever. Um, that's, uh, that's what we think about this topic. Let us know what you think about it. Let us know if you could propose in public and they can say no in public. Or whether or not you feel they should pull you to the side and say no. You can let us know what you think in the comments down below. Or hit us up. Tweet us with the Can We Not Podcast hashtag. We'll check it out and let you guys know what we're doing. Now, oh, before yeah. we go to our next topic, I also want to make sure we shout out Clothes by Jay, the yeah. sponsor for today that we have sitting on this table. If you're watching good, the video, though. we have Clothes by Jay. I it's, might um, need that right there. His shirt is, comes from an exclusive Chicago to New York line. And oh, that's dope. Yeah, hey. he's a Chicago-based clothing designer. His name is Jay Bradford, mm. and he makes all these nice little clothes. So yeah, you can find like more it. clothes like that on his website and his Instagram. I like it. We'll it's like one it of those like stone wash kind of like yeah, you know, that, acid wash kind of designs, and whatnot. And then like the logo, it's like it, it's dope. It I like it. Out. Wait, what's that say on the bottom? Your destiny is waiting. Yeah, <laughs> and it's that's upside dope. down. So. Hey. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. You got to hit up Jay. Hit up Jay. Hit up Jay. We'll try and get him. We'll, we'll get him on the show and ask him why it's like that. <laughs> Do we have to? I mean, can we, we, not? we Can we not get guests on our show? You Guys, we don't have it. that much time left. And I want to <laughs> hit two <laughs> more topics before we yes. close out the show. Yes. Um. Before we get, should we do power now? Or wait. Yeah. Let's do. Power yeah. Now. Let's do power. Yeah. Let's yeah, keep it's, power it's short. It's quick. Yeah. Power short. What do you think? Uh, good episode. Eight out of ten. Mm, I give it a six. 
I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was unnecessary. It was a lot of like unnecessary Tariq, stuff. Tariq, Kanan. No, not just that. My thing about it, we're in season five and they're putting certain characters in moments to make us like to build suspense. But if you know these characters for five seasons, you already know how they're going to react or how okay. they're supposed to react. Yeah. So it was like I didn't feel the tension. Okay, so I think you a lot of moments fell flat for me okay. in this episode. I got and you. that's just how I feel about that episode in general. With Tommy, with Tasha, with Ghost, a lot of that just felt flat. Yeah. The the veterans, yeah, they, they you day obviously ones. know the how day they're ones, supposed yeah. to react, yeah, exactly. It's it fell flat for me, so that was a whack episode. I hope so. it doesn't turn into Empire. Like I had high oh, hopes God. for Empire at first, yeah. so did I. Actually. But then it's just like, eh. Yeah, yeah, I know. So moving on to the next topic, guys. Fast. This I know. I'm trying to Good run job. through these before Easy. we end the show. So that's how we run a show, guys. Um, <laughs> this past week there was a holiday. Did you guys acknowledge it? What National Girlfriend's Day. Nigga, I'm single. National girl. What? Wait, really? Yes. Nigga, we have you on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, we do have you on Facebook. <laughs> I'm single, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> then who is this kid of Rayside on Facebook who's in a relationship? First off, why are you putting that nigga's government out there? You like said that? it before on the podcast. <laughs> this is public information now. Wait a minute. Well, I mean, things happen. Don't week take to his week. mic away. I mean, he's a celebrity. Oh. Now. He's insta familiar now. Don't steal my jokes. No. Um, <laughs> I'm not stealing your joke. I was appreciating it. Uh, shout out to Evan Cumbest for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, I'm supposed to shout you out every time. Oh, Pat and Penn, Evan Cumbers joke. Evan B- Cumbers. There you go. No, no, yeah. no. Nah, nah, chill. But National Girlfriend's Day. Have I'm, you ever? Did you even know this was a thing? No. Valentine's Day? No. National <laughs> Girlfriend's Day. Same. <laughs> this sounds like two sides of the same coin. That sounds like National Day. That sounds like National Grandparents' Day. Is like, do you is really? There, wait. Yes, there, there is. Yes, there is. When is it? It's sometime in June. Mm. It's oh, a, it's grandma! At, shout out to grandma. At, I love my grandmother. I, yeah, I love my. <laughs> I yes. will definitely celebrate yes. National Grandparents' yes. Day before National Girlfriend's Day. Facts. <laughs> Listen, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Listen again, lady. Listen, lady. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, listen, lady. I'm not with it. I'm not doing. You're not getting. Like, how many holidays and gifts do you need centered around you? I one, mean, one or two. Because you got your birthday, you got Valentine's Day, you got Christmas. anniversaries, Christmas, National <laughs> Girlfriend's Day. I mean, like, there's <laughs> only one Earth Day. Exactly. <laughs> but exactly. but then again, we also forget about that shit too. <laughs> exactly. I, I, don't, I recycled I know it on is. the way God, to here. I know no, no, guys forget a lot <laughs> of stuff I'm that dumb. pertains to women. Unfortunately, I'm wait a minute. These people exist. It, that's exactly how it, it, I feel. Oh, wait, Evan, did you celebrate National Girlfriend's Day with who? Oh, oh, perfect. See, there you go. Me and a hander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely we, we got it in. <laughs> we had a nice intimate night. I laid out the candle. Ew. I made sure everything was nice and sensual. Stop. Can she I? knows you like the back of your hand. Huh? Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the back of my hand. I don't touch that black bitch. <laughs> Canceled. We're canceled. We're, we're fucking canceled. Just like that. We're canceled. Just like that. It's easy. Oh my <laughs> god. We're wilding. See, we're wilding. Oh my god. All right. Last topic. Go ahead. Before we end out this podcast, this was going on throughout the week. I saw a lot of women getting mad at this um conversation. Okay. I, and I want to know what you guys think about it. When women are dissatisfied sexually with a man, they they will may air them out try to talk trash about the man oh subs yeah throw subs or you know th- throw subs at his sex game say it's whack your dick's little da 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 mm. and a man might come out and just say still beat <laughs> now <laughs> is there <laughs> wait let me let me get my let me finish is there an a more <laughs> a stronger <laughs> response to is I still be like can you say anything after that like I feel like that's checkmate if I that, that's checkmate to me <laughs> why y'all laughing I want to know it's the checkmate that's it's done yeah it's, it's clipped it's clipped cut it out I you still, done I still, still be I mean like <laughs> like <laughs> but to have to use it as a defense that's just super petty it's too petty for like like is it even no, necessary at that point? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's like rap battle, like you know, men like just mentality. You like you're just saying, "Yo, <coughs> I gotta respond to this." They're talking exactly. wild about me. I, you really need to address it. You're no. stupid to their level at but that the, point. The funny thing about it is, it doesn't come into play until the woman gets out of hand and starts trying to wild out. If they didn't say anything, then we wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't have to say I, mean, I still yeah, beat, but, but I won't say. If anything. you didn't disrespect me, I won't have to say I still beat. And saying I still beat isn't like. 
disrespectful. What's disrespectful about I still be? Because literally all I'm saying is that, yo, why are you trying to diss me when we've shared the most intimate of connections with one with each other? Yeah, but then she's saying, yo, it was what? I mean, maybe the nigga you was going around en- saying, yeah, like, oh, yeah, you, you know, I'm, I'm it, king of this. If you yeah. didn't enjoy it, why are you trying to belittle me? There has you, to be a reason because to... Because in trying to say that, oh, you broke, you this and that. It's like, but you let me in. Something happened to happen before that. Something had to happen before that but why, to initiate it. But why would you talk trash about somebody that you let, that you shared that type of inti- intimacy with? There's, honestly, there shouldn't be a point to it because it's like, if you're... If you want to quote unquote win that argument then you shouldn't be like responding to to negativity like that if she's saying oh dick little like one two stroke game one pump chump shit like that it's like like yo just let her talk let you her know get a it. lot of these phrases though yeah well yeah, yeah you know a lot <laughs> yeah. of these phrases why you know a lot of those phrases you seem to be very familiar yo relax. what's good bro relax you want to talk about it no <laughs> that's no problem that's what? no problem why it's are no you problem. whistling don't cat call me bro <laughs> oh oh you you don't want to be- set the scene up because maybe he was whistling and maybe you got to set the tone. Don't do that. That was whack. Yeah. What? He's setting whack. the tone. And plus tone Boy, looked up. So get the fuck out of here. <laughs> don't tell him to get out. No, I'm telling you <laughs> really? Well, I, I just I feel like I got some reserves about this because it's like if you're going to get to that point where you got to feel petty and say something, then something had to have initiated and sparked that initial like saying like it can't just be like, oh, I'm just gonna talk trash about your dick game out of nowhere. No, like something had to have sparked that. Some women do that. I don't know. Now it sounds like you yes. got experience with it. Yeah. Okay, but what do you feel like was the the reason behind it? I, I, okay, it was the woman. She was being petty because like we did that, we shared the that moment, and then let's say it, it could be months later where she might ask something out of me, and I don't give it. Now here come the subs. Oh, uh, okay. little dick niggas don't want to, you know, da da da. Or minute men shouldn't be, you know, da da da. You want to be all this, but you a minute man, da da. It's like y'all still beat. What are you trying to say, lady? <laughs> what are you trying to say, hey, lady? Stop saying all this to me, lady. No, I'm, I'm just talking saying. Like, talking oh, wild, lady. Oh, jeez, leave me alone, lady. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. It's just. It just seems like yo, if you wouldn't come out of pocket at me, mm. I wouldn't have to remind you. Still beat. <laughs> I, I get that. I get that. I mean, but that's again going back to that manfidence, that pride, where you're just like, oh, I got to step up for mine. I got to speak up for mine. I still did the act. But why I mean, do women feel the need to shit on a man's sex game? But why because do, why do, that's what we hold in a high regard. Everybody's a, we're attached to it. That's what we feel is like our like end all be all. That's our manhood right there. It's like, oh, if we have a big one or a small one, we're still going to deny it all the time because you still let me be. <laughs> But that's why it would be so sensitive of a topic for you to address it like that. But that's why I'm like, that's why I'm reminding you. But, but do you? Re- I still be. And what? What? You, what we talking about? I feel like we should <laughs> leave this to the viewers because they they definitely need to sound off on this. I feel like we're I very agree. divided. I Can agree. we not? <laughs> No, I'm just saying before we close out the topic and end the whole podcast and everything, I'm just saying that I feel like when it comes to that type of stuff and you share that type of intimacy with the person and later on in the line you two have a falling out or whatever, if you were dissatisfied with the sex, that's something that's between you two. Because once you try to bring in the whole world and bring them in and try to publicly shame somebody because it's something you shared with the person, mm-hmm. I'm going to remind you, I still beat. You let me in. It's over. <laughs> Conversation <laughs> over. Because at the end of the day, you're only making yourself look stupid. And nobody wants to look stupid. That's what I'm saying. You only made yourself look stupid because once you try to make it sound like, oh, you a bum, you live with your dad, you live in the basement with your parents, and you only making with this your much parents money. In the basement. Yeah, you and your parents live in the basement. Y'all share in the basement. You only make twelve dollars an hour. Listen, it's like when you make fun of a man for those type of things, like. The world is looking at you. Why'd you let him fuck? If you knew all of that. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's yes. what I still but, beat means. Why'd you let me fuck? But, Why? But that's even, you're putting yourself down with it. I mean, I guess it's a imagine, humble brag. It's a humble brag. In, in a way, sense. imagine like you gave money to a homeless person and used it and bought alcohol. Oh, you know, he's like, you still gave me the money. He's like, you still gave me the money. <laughs> Well, you just take the money back. Still donated. It's still donated. It's still, <laughs> still, still supporting. Yeah, you still oh, donated. Thanks for the charity. Bro. Still gave I, back. 
Exactly. Still <laughs> still charitable. Like, still got drunk over Yo, there. these bums is out here doing all this crazy shit. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm done with you. I'm not doing that no more. So, yeah, that's just how I, I feel about it. Okay. I just want to sound off on I, that I, one. I, okay. see what, I see what you're saying. I disagree, but... How do you disagree? We got five minutes. We got five minutes, mm. but... All right, so boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, so boom. <laughs> all right, so Changes boom. everything. So look, so look, if... If you feel the need to defend yourself, you're really only giving into that same negativity. You're feeding into mm. what she wants. You're giving her what she wants. You're How? adding more fuel to the fire that she's bringing onto social media where like she's telling up all those subs. I feel like you're, you're cutting it off because after I still beat, what can she say? She can still she can keep going and keep pestering you, but it's like yo, if you if you ignore still beat, still if you beat. ignore it, if you block her, whatever, out still of sight, beat. out of mind. I could block you and I still oh be. Oh my goodness, that sounds like you can't unblock this dick. <laughs> just saying, what? just saying. If I'm being, if I'm putting myself in those shoes of that nigga, you still, yeah, <laughs> what it is. I did it. Still be. Can't unblock this dick. That sounds can't, sound like Stefan. Can't that sounds like it. one of those playground. Can't unsuck it. Arguments right there, like like, oh, but it's an end all be all. It's like, when you phrase it like that, it sounds like that. But it sounds childish when it you is. phrase it like that. But it's it wouldn't have to be used if it's the other person yeah but it still sounds childish it's like at the end of the day we're both two adults if this is how you want to air out our business and you want to seek closure or you know just vent then that means you might need to see some other people like you know i don't understand why you got to be so public about something like you said that's intimate between us exactly but if they felt the need to do that because it sparked off of something else then I, I would say don't I can't address ima- it. My thing is ultimately I can't. I've never seen um, what you gonna call it, a man come out after a sexual experience with a woman and talk trash about the woman's. Because when, 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 yes. when that happens, because when that happens, when that happens, the man is like, "Yo, you're like you're shaming this girl. Like you're trying to call her a slut. You're trying to like do all these things. Like, so I feel like why isn't that same energy carried over to the other side? I feel like it doesn't need to be carried over at all. Just don't address it. No, re- no reply is the best response. All right, so I feel like let's let the fans. Like, yeah, we'll let the yeah, fans come off, in. Sound, sound off, off please it. let us know because yes. you can see we have reached an impasse. Yes, here. Let us sir. know what you think. Please yeah. let us know. Hit us up on our social medias or tweet us at the Can We Not hashtag it, and we'll read it and get back to you. And before we get to our last um, viewer the, question, the Can We Not the question closer, yeah. the Can We Not question qu- closer That's by Ken of Rayside. Hey. Long title. Shout out to City World Radio one more time. Shout out to Sky's Crescent Radio. If you watch this, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for letting Do us all use your studio, Sky. Thank you yeah. so much. So, Kenneth, you want to close us out with the the question for the next topic? I right, so boom. Next episode, I want to hear people. I want to respond with people's responses to this question. What are your relationship pet peeves? What What is something that, if it happens in a relationship, irritates you to no end? It could be literally anything. I will mention it. I will mention, like, the most like significant significant ones to me i'll sound off on mine i'm sure my co-host will do the same oh i got a lot oh you do i got a lot also next though next episode about to be fire no <laughs> <laughs> no i agree Boo, I, get the fuck out of here i hope that was to yourself it's to you don't ever call me whack only i call me whack <laughs> But yeah, that's it. That's about it. So yeah, guys, please make sure you hit us up about pet peeves in your relationships and let Kenneth know, let me know, let Akai know. Hit us up. On let us know. Medias, yeah. All of our on your socials. Yep. Social all our security. DPSs. Cars. DPSs. Yeah. <laughs> With the DPS. Download platforms. Digital platforms of streaming. <laughs> oh. That makes sense. You had DSPs. It was DSPs. DSPs. There you go. Digital you streaming platforms. Whatever. But guys, that's all the time we have for you this week on the Can We Not podcast. The podcast where we talk about a bunch of stuff that you guys will like hearing about. Facts. We're the hottest niggas in these streets. <laughs> we'll let you know one last time. And we're out of here. So peace. Peace. Bye. If you served honorably in our nation's armed forces and you're looking for